Hello, this is another note on cool term. We have one for the Mac. This is now for the PC. This is how to load this terminal application that lets you study what, ty what signals are coming into your COM ports, uh, your serial ports, COM ports, from your navigation instruments. And the, and the reason it's valuable to have this for sure is because when you, when you have the various instruments coming into the computer and they don't work, somehow it doesn't work, you want to double check to be sure that you're really getting signals into the application. That, in other words, your device, your sensors are working right, they're putting out the signals, but you have then some configuration problem in the navigation program. If you can't get it to work in the nav program, you always have that uncertainty. Do I really have the signals and so forth? So this simple tool, very quick and easy to use, uh, just answers that question. It's a, it's a very valuable thing for a navigator to have in their computer. So we'll start out, it's called cool term. Oh, here it is, I just looked a minute ago. And when it's the first one that shows up, Roger Myers Freeware. That's it. And then you come down here, and we want a Windows 64-bit, uh, I assume. And that's there. And then, well, I've already downloaded it there. And so you can download it. Uh, well, I'll save it. Let's just do it again. And then it'll come up here. And then I'm going to then open that up. And then uh, open this one up. And then, uh, oh, wait a minute. Actually, um, that you could take okay so this runs this doesn't install there's no nothing going on with the registry or anything like that everything runs right out of its own folder so if you want to you could just take this folder here and just bring it over and put it on your you know put it on your desktop like that right and then you would have it and you could make a shortcut and so forth but there's that and that let's see did it really go up there where is cool term uh, C, um, oh, here it is. Uh, oh, is that compressed? Let me open it. Okay, no, it opens. And then here's the app, Cool Term Executable, right there, and we click it open. All right, ah, now this is not made by Microsoft, so we have to go through this routine here. Um, 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 more, not say don't run, we want to run it. It's perfectly safe. So you say more and then run anyway. How many times do we have to do this? Uh, your preference has been copied to a new location. Uh, there, let's see, um, is it opening? Another instance of cool term is already running. Ah, close. Okay, I must have clicked it twice. Okay, so here it is. So normally that's all there is to it. Now you could, you could here is down here in your taskbar, you could save it there, you could make a shortcut and bring it up here, whatever. Okay, so this is the app, simple as this. Now I have plugged into this computer. Oh, well, first of all, I'm running a PC, but I'm inside of a Mac, so I don't know if that's gonna generate any issues or not, but I don't think so. But we're looking at, what we're looking at here is a Windows 11 interface. And I have plugged into that three pieces of equipment. One is our own USB barometer, that's a nice little, device it gives high accuracy pressure and it's uh, putting out uh, uh, signals NEMA NEMA signals and so we want to check to see if that's working right that's one thing the other thing I've got we have on the roof of our school here an antenna that picks up AIS signals from the ships and from the vessels in Puget Sound and so we could look at the AIS signals that's something you might have working on your boat that you you know from your AIS antenna and then finally I've got rigged up here on my desk um, uh, N2K bus and with several instruments on it and so and that uh, that's N2K but then I have a gateway that sends those signals out as NEMA 183 so I can look at those in this tool here and so that's got a GPS in it and a heading sensor and a uh, and another barometer so let's just look at those and just see how that works and then the okay so this is all there is to it. Now, let me say that this looks complicated. There's all sorts of functions and everything else here, but it's very simple. What we want to do is extremely simple. We don't have to get into anything. We don't have to read any manuals or anything. We're going to do two buttons, options, options, and then with this options, um, 
Now, I've noticed it does take a, it takes a second or two to open. I'm not sure why. And so here, then in the top one, top line are the devices. And these are the various COM ports that's active on this machine. Now, if you don't know which one is which, then you could just take out, like this one here, number five. That is, um, that one, number five, that's our barometer. That's our barometer. Now, the way you'd find that out is I'm going over here and I'm going to, oh, let's see, would you do that here? Well, I don't know if you can do it here or if you have to go to Device Manager. But if you definitely can see it in Device Manager, but let me see if you can see it here. Um, okay, there's number five is, is that. Now, I'm going to unplug the barometer. I'm going to unplug the barometer and I'm going to say rescan the, okay, oh, cancel. I don't know if it likes all that plugging and unplugging. I think it's okay. But remember that these COM ports, they change. You have two, two USB ports right beside each other on your laptop or computer. One of them's going to have like COM5, the right beside it would be COM6. So it does matter which one you plug it into. Let's go back here now to options and this one. And um, I'm not entirely, okay, COM6. Oh, so it does work here. See, there is no COM5. So the COM5 has gone away. So you can also do that by the device manager and looking at the serial ports. But now let me plug it back in. I'm going to plug it back into exact same port. Uh, the exact same port. I'm going to say, OK. Well, let me, OK. Options. Let's see if it's back or if I have to rescan the ports. Uh, okay, five, five. Oh yeah, it's there. Okay, so let's look at five. So you just, I turned that on. Now normally, it, it, you got to have eight and one here on these settings, eight and one. But that's a default. You don't have to change anything there. Nothing changes here. In principle, this NEMA stuff is 4,800, but we, it really is not going to matter for what we're doing here. So all of this is there. We just want to get that, and then you say okay, okay, and then you connect. And if it's working, you get the signals. Now this, our USB barometer, which is what we're looking at, puts out two NEMA sentences every second. And, and the reason there's two sentences is because um, some navigation apps still use the older one, uh, the older signal, the older sentence. So we have both the new sentence and the old sentence there. And so anyway, so the answer is here, if you're wondering about does your barometer work putting out signals, the answer is yes. So that's done. Disconnect, we can clear that. Now let's go back here just to show what these things look like. I mean, that's the, 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 the function's been demoed. Let's go to, what do I have here? Let my notes. Number six is, uh, is the, uh, uh, number eight, number eight is AIS. Let's go to the AIS. AIS number eight, again, oh, now the AIS actually is at a higher rate, but again, it won't matter for what we're doing here. It won't matter. And then connect, and that's what AIS signals look like. Those are the various ships sending signals from that we see from our roof out over Puget Sound. And these are coded, it's hard, that's not any plain language stuff at all. Most NEMA stuff is more or less plain language, but not the AIS. But you can just, uh, let me just say, let me stop, uh, disconnect. And then you can just grab a bunch of these and copy it, copy it. And you can go online, and there's online the decoders for this. It'll tell you what exactly this means, and so forth. Okay, we don't care about that. For now, options. Now, what's the last one we're looking at? Oh, the bus bar, the, a, the N2K bus. That one is on six. And, and again, how do I know it's on six? Because a while, a while ago, I plugged it in and plugged it out and could see it. So there's six. Again, this doesn't matter. I say OK, and then connect. And uh, there you are. You've got the yacht devices. The, the, the equipment we're using is from a company called Yacht Devices. And these GSA, GSV, these are all standard, uh, uh, standard uh, G, uh, uh, GFS signals. I mean, uh, GPS signals. And then here, heading, HDG, that's probably the heading sensor right there. That's that heading sensor, 293.6 degrees. And then somewhere down here, there's a barometer. Uh, yeah, there's a barometer signal. 
you see reading 10 10 7 point 4 or something like that so anyway that's how that works and it's very good to have such a thing uh, have such a thing uh, to be able to test your signals and that's all I wanted to say very simple app powerful tool to have in your uh, in your computer in case you ever need it I will stop there there's a Mac version also online